Okay, so we can start here with uh, this intro and verse progression. And uh, this is, of course, you know, interpreting a lot of uh, what's going on with piano for guitar. Um, I think we do a pretty good job with it. So we'll start with uh, this initial C shape here. So just 3A, 2D, open G, 1B, open high E, this basic C chord there. And we kind of pick through it where like we'll hit like the bass note parts of it, like the 3A, 2D. Pick down through it with the open G, 1B, open E. Then we'll add in this 3B back off to the 1. All right, and now we're going to shift to a F. So we just kind of take what we have there and bring the 3A, 2D down a set. So now we got the 3D, 2G. All right, keep that same 1 on the B. And we just pick through the, the 3D, and then we'll go like 2G, 1B, 2G, 1B. Okay, and we just repeat that whole thing about two and a half times, I guess you would say. All right, and then you know, after we get to, through like the second time, then we just stay on that C for about twice as long as we usually would. And then we shift to uh, kind of like wrapping up the, the initial section there where we do it with uh, basically a F chord with an A bass note. So we'll, we'll have our same F shape that we're using, the 3D, 2G, 1B, but we'll throw in this open A string with it. Right, we just kind of shuffle strum through that. Something like that. And then just a real quick little hit at the end of a G with a, a B bass note. So basically just kind of like we're making the regular G chord, but don't really worry so much about like the three on the low E, just kind of hit that two A with the open D, G and B string. I should be fine. Just a couple quick hits on it. Okay. And we go through that whole pattern a couple times, then I guess you would say this is the second part of the verse. Um, shift to just an F bar chord here. So just bar the ones, three on the A and D, two G. We just kind of hold that for a few strums. And do an E minor seven. So I like to do this spot where we just do the open E, two A, everything else open. A minor seven, so open A, two D, open G, one B, open high E, same deal. To D chord, so open D, two G, three B, two high E. D minor seven, so we keep our open D, two G, one on the B and E. Okay, E seven, so open E, two A, open D, one G, open B and E. A minor, so open A, 2D, 2G, 1B, open high E. Just hold that for a little bit, and then a little quick uh, strum at the end, hit a G chord. It's just a little beat before the, uh, going back to the original first spot. And then eventually, uh, in the second and third verses, we get these little uh, second guitar like lead lines that come over the top of it. And uh, kind of does a little bit that you see in the chorus as well, where We'll be on the G here, and we just do a little bend on the 7, release off to 5, do a 7D, back to 5G. All right, and you can scale it down, where we do like the 5G, 7-5D, 7-6-5-A, 8-E. Just playing around with that scale. Um, you can improvise on, on these kind of scales and bends too, it's fine. Um, another another look we see as we come a little higher, we go eight on the B, bend it, release off to five. Do the same kind of G and D spots, seven to five G, seven to five D, back to five G. You can do this little bit where you just do like three bends on the eight B, release it. Let's have some fun with that. Um, we do the, the bridge or like the pre-chorus, you might call it. It's just this kind of like building up, so we're just kind of like bump, 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 strumming it. Uh, start here with the A flat or G sharp, so just four E, six on the A and D, five G. It's just kind of like a one, two, three, four. Up two frets to the B flat, A sharp, at the six eighths with the seven, same deal. Drop down to G minor, 
So 3 E, 5 A and D, 3 G. C minor, so up a set, we go 3 A, 5 on the D and G, 4 B. Okay, back to the A flat, the 4 E, 6 A and D, 5 G. And you can either just stay on that A flat and build that up, or you can throw in the, the cool little guitar thing that uh, comes up here. Uh, it does a nine on the G and the high E, and then an eight on the B. All right, so that shape we're looking there. And we just kind of hit it, slide it up to the 10, nine, 10, strum it there a couple times. Okay, do that whole thing about four times. All right, and now we want this B diminished chord, so kind of chromatic look where we go 7E, 8A, 9D, and then uh, you can get the 7 on the G under it, so just kind of barring it there. Just kind of building up, and it kind of slows. And then I uh, do a compounded uh, D with the G on top, so uh, we go uh, sorry, this would be a G with the D on top. So we go 10 on the E and A, 12 on the D and G, and then just hit that out till we get uh, all done with our buildup. All right, and then the chorus chords here, we start with our uh, F chord to the C, to the D minor, Open D, 2, G, 3, B, 1, E. Strum on that for a little bit. Hit the E minor at the last beat there. The open E, 2 on the A and D, open G, B, and E. Okay. Second run through, we do the F to the C. And we do a kind of a compounded slash chord do the G chord with the open A, so open A string, five on the D, four uh, G, three B. Right. And uh, just basically cruise through those two different alternating pa patterns for the chorus. And the, the lead line over the top of it, we do a slide up to fives on the G and high E, slide up to fives on the D and B string, and then slide to threes on the D and B. And then we do that little uh, bend there that we saw in some of the verse stuff. Uh, start at 7D, 7G, or sorry, 7D, 5G, bend the 7G, back off to 5. Okay, and then do a quick 5G, 7D, 5G, 7D. Just play around with that. 